guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be um drawing uh how I'll be making uh, I'll show I'll be showing you how to make a fruit on Google Slides. Mm -hmm. So um let's get right into it and I'll be showing it to you step by step. So let me just write that for you. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's how kind I am. I'm gonna write that for you. Uh, step by step. Let's make that bigger for you guys. So I'll be showing you how to make a Google, uh, um, how to make a fruit on Google Slides step by step. So um, we'll add a new slide, and we'll just remove these um little text boxes. And then we'll remove the big one too, cause um we won't be needing those. So we'll just disturb nothing else. Now what you can do is go to shapes, and you can pick out a um. Let's see what I want to do. I want to do a watermelon. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna find a shape that I might be using, like this. So this is the shape I'm going to work with first. I'm going to spin it around. You can make it like tilted kind of like it's watermelon. Ooh. Um, we're going to make it a bit more skinnier. Right? Because it's not going to be the main. Or you even you can make it fat and then overlap it later. And that, that, that'll be better because then it'll be kind of easier to work with. So this is going to be our first shape. Um, we'll start by the fill color. And um, there'll be all these different kind of choices. You'll go to custom. It's your choice. You can pick it out, but I'm going to go to custom. And I'm going to try and get a watermelonish color. Um, a dark green. Um, this looks about it. So that's going to be my dark green. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to border color. I'm going to pick this green. And then I'm going to go to border color again and go to custom. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit more down. And let's see, because it's probably not... We need border weight because it's only one pixel, it's not noticeable. Let's do three pixel. And you can see there's a nice dark green uh, green shape. And if it's not good enough, what you can do is that you can go to custom again and go even darker. So you can actually, oh boy, I did the fill color that. That'll be a fill color, right? And then this so it's much noticeable or um if you'd like you can make the border weight um four pixels so it's thick now um we'll move on to the next step we'll go to shape and we'll um go to this place called shapes and there'll be these shape uh, all these shapes again what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick arc. I'm going to make the arc. And then just kind of, kind of, you know, um, this arc wouldn't fit because of what shape it has. So I'm actually just going to go for the same shape again. And you can um, try out different shape, shapes um like that might fit um so i'm gonna go with moon i'm gonna try and fit, fit it in so um you can go back and forth just trying to fit it in and get the perfect fit you need um i'm just gonna make like this And I'm gonna kind of tilt it perhaps. 
And um, for those of you who do not want this, if this is not your kind of thing, you can go to shapes and you can just pick up the same shape. Where did it go? This one, right? It's called block art, just in case you need to know. Um, you can just flip it around. And um, and that's on. And you don't even have to do that. It's just for those of you who want to like make it sort of like different. Mm. Here. Um. So just try to um roll. Uh. Just try to like um bring different shapes and like kind of get um a nice fit in there. And just go back and forth. It doesn't take too much time. Though it could, but I don't think it does take too much time. Um, um, and if your thing is too small, just kind of do that. To actually get a good shape and if yours is not fitting then just kind of do that and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it where I need it to be I'm gonna pull the top hmm and um I'm sorry. Okay. I was sort of ill prepared, but I still know what to do, but it's kind of hard because the watermelon shape, um, there's not exact shapes for it. And um, you can just try to make it fit in by yourself. Um, you can just line it up a little. And um, actually, I'm just gonna um call you guys when I'm actually ready, so you guys don't have to wait forever. So guys, you know what I actually did? I just duplicated my last shape, and I actually just kind of made it uh, fit like that, so that it doesn't really um, and it shouldn't take much time. And now what we're going to do is going to go to fill color and we're going to go to custom. We're going to try and make a more watermelonish kind of color, not too limeish. Mm, that's not bad. Then we're going to go to water uh, 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 line color, custom. And let's see. Um, perhaps this might do. Okay. Yep, that looks nice. And just gonna pull it in a little. Let's check it out so far. And it doesn't look bad. I'm actually starting to like the shape. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to shape. And we're gonna see if there's any shape that fits. Now this doesn't look too bad. And we're gonna take this. It's going to be our red part. Right? So, I'm just going to try and make it fit in here. And, um, it'll take a few tries. But you'll eventually get it. Trust me. And what you can do if it looks like there's like way too much green, you can just pull it in a little. And do that. So that kind of like conquers the place it needs. And that it doesn't look quite um, fitted yet. So I'm just going to kind of do this. Pull it down a little. Let's check it out. Mm, still no. 
Yes, um, it'll be a little hard to do it because you're going to try and get it perfectly in, but it won't be perfect. Um, so I'm just going to pull it up a little bit more. So it almost looks like a piece. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to fill color and I'm going to go to custom. I'm going to pick a reddish color that will do for my watermelon. Maybe a little down, not like this, like red, like those really deep red, just more of this kind. Okay. Now you can really see it's actually a watermelon. It has an awkward shape, but we can try and fix that. We're going to go this. Then we're going to say custom after that. Then we're going to go a little bit more down just for our border color. And border weight can be 4 pixel. And just check it out to see if it's going nicely. So what our next step will be is that we'll just kind of like do this. We'll just kind of drag out of nowhere. And we're gonna get all the shapes all together. Now what you're gonna do is going to arrange on the top here, arrange, and it's gonna be group. So um, so it should be one big shape now, right? And you can just move it to make it bigger or smaller, whatever. And it'll move as one shape, so you won't have to struggle. And if you can see something is wrong, I have to go to this range and ungroup. Now I saw there's something strange going on with my red. So I'm just gonna leave it. Click on the shape. And then kinda just get my thing right. Let's see, I wanna make it symmetrical symmetrical so i want to make sure there's like equal amount of red and there's lots and lots of green so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just kind of try and get rid of that a little bit of the green. let's see yeah that's a problem that happens um, an easy way, there's just an easy way to fix it. It's lowered down. And if that, if it's, um, and if your problem is that it's coming out of, um, both sides, then you could just take the shape, move it up all together, and then just kind of do that. And it, it looks like uh, one, so you don't really got to worry. Now, um, the watermelon still doesn't look um, like a watermelon, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to group it again so it doesn't um, actually like kind of get ruined or uh, the pieces don't fall apart. Because if you, uh, the a problem is when you're doing your, um, when you're making a watermelon, the pieces could fall apart. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to shape, um, maybe hoping for a seed-like shape. If you don't find it, that's okay. I still have another way to do it. I'm just going to look. If there's any shape, I mean, seed like shape, um, it doesn't look like there's any here. Maybe arrows. No. So, uh, what if you don't find it in the shapes? Then, what you can do is go to um, the your toolbar and there'll be this line stuff. So, so go to select line and go to scribble. Now, what you're gonna do is kind of make a seed like shape if it doesn't work that's all right just undo and try again so i'm gonna try again i'm gonna go to scribble 
and try to make my seed. If you don't like how it looks, just keep on trying. You'll eventually get it. And I think I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do, go to line color. I need black and line weight. Nope, that's not going to work. I'm going to do that. Hmm. What you can do is try to make it one big shape so that it doesn't like... So you can fill in the color. Um, not options perhaps. Nope. You need to fill in the color. Also, what else you can do? Um, you'll have to wait for me just a little. Go to Google and search up water melon seed, right? And you can search up animated next to it. Animated. So that you get um, more of an animated kind. Now what you can do next is go to toolbox, your tools. And go to color and transparent. Um, I'm just kind of hoping to find a seed. If you don't find it there, then um, I have another way. Don't worry. Um, mm -hmm. You know what? I actually find the picture and then give it to you guys. Or if that's not what you want, still, you can still try to make it one shape. Oh. Like, um, it's another way. I don't know if you guys really understand how to do it. Just do this and kind of just scribble it in. Keep on scribbling inside of the seed. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does. Just keep on trying if it doesn't work. It's almost like ink because sometimes it works. See, this time it didn't work. Just try your best. And, and the reason I kind of like this kind of thing is because I like cartoonish kind of seeds and stuff. So it'll look cute, kind of. Go to line color. I'll go to black. Line weight. And let's do three. Maybe four. Maybe eight. Okay, that's better. I'm actually going to stick with four for the more cartoonish kind of look. Now you just do copy paste. And you can go to the watermelon and try to get a good shape. Like, um, just position the seeds. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to go for the, like, the, the traditional cartoonish way. And the way I like it. It's pretty cute. And um, you don't have to do it if you don't like it. But you can do it scattered. Or you can do it the way I'm doing it. Like this. <sighs> and you just keep on going. It doesn't take lots of time. It just takes about a minute. And I'm sure most of you know this kind of way. Mm, I don't hate the scatter one too. It's pretty good. I use it most of the time. But I felt like maybe today I should do this one. And if this if it's not going to fit, that's okay. I don't think it's going to fit. So I'm just going to get rid of these two. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to try to get a good fitting. And make it more like symmetrical. And 
so that they all can maybe like mm -hmm. that looks nice um that's mostly it but what i was going to do but because i added the seeds it wouldn't look nice what i was gonna do is that i was gonna do two eyes Black four two eyes, right? Then what I was gonna do is I'm gonna go to scribble again and just gonna do that, right? Then I'm just gonna go to um. Then I was gonna drag it. I'm actually gonna make it bigger so I can see better. I'm just gonna drag it onto the. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna show you it big, and then I'm just gonna um like put them all together. The you you, you can show the lines because um I like made it big, but then when I'm gonna make it small, you you're not even gonna notice it. So I was gonna do this. I was gonna put it on and make it kind of bigger for you guys. And line color would be white. And then I would drag it onto the other eye. I mean, and then I would make the thing again. Make it smaller this time, though it right there i was gonna copy paste that put it right there and then i was gonna group them let's kind of bring them off to the side oh yeah wait undo that i could have just taken one actually What I'm gonna do actually is just kind of backspace that with a little balls. I'm gonna backspace that, and I'm also gonna backspace that. Hmm. And I could do them to take the balls. I can still see them, so it's not a big of a problem. that now you can see the two little pupils and i was gonna go to range i was gonna do order and, and a group and then i was gonna make them smaller again right so they look like little eyes i'm gonna place them and what i actually want to do now I'm gonna go to range and I'm gonna ungroup. I'm gonna press on the black and I'm gonna make the line color. I mean, I'm gonna make the line weight actually eight. Or maybe not eight, maybe 12. So that they look like eyes. I need to send this thing away. Sorry, one sec. Um, then arrange group. Now that we got two of them, they were going to be little eyes. Do you see that? Was cool, but if I didn't, um, I didn't need this. Um, uh, they didn't all get. Oh dang it! And you have to make sure that they're all like when they're all highlighted in blue. That means that they're a group. So. I was just gonna do this. 
And I hope you like this idea, some of you guys, and maybe you can use it in yours. And you can remove the seeds, actually. I'm just going to show you when I remove the seeds, because we still need the mouth, right? And I want to show you. I'm going to keep one seed, just in case I want to change my mind. Then I was going to, um, it's going to make them fit. And then I was going to make the mouth, right, with the scribble. I was going to make it um, dark red. No, I'm just going to make it darker. And then... And that's what I was going to really do. But if you want it to look cuter, then do it for pixel and that's really what i was gonna do but if that's not your kind of way you can remove the eyes but i showed you in two kinds of ways and what i'm gonna do actually is i'm gonna add a few a few seeds to show you another kind of way too because what's a watermelon without the seeds right So, um, I hope you like the two ways I showed you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike. And when they're all highlighted, I'm going to go to arrange. And I'm going to group. Now they're all one huge big family. Now I'm going to make a background. And I um, might do gradient. Hmm. This greenish gradient. Actually, I'm just going to make my own gradient because I have a good idea in mind. This. But if I mix red with, um, with green, it's going to make like brownish in the middle. So what I'm going to do actually instead, I'm just going to make a darker green. Actually, I'm going to make this lighter. So this is what I made. Um, now I'm going to do something cool. Just kind of... I'm going to copy-paste this. Mm -hmm. And then you can make it smaller. You can either use a plus and minus button, or you can just like kind of like type it in. Mm -hmm. I just felt like using this way, so. I'm actually going to make this light because you don't want to mix dark uh, with um, dark with dark because then you're mostly not going to see anything. And, and then I'm going to make this dark because that's a lighter part. I'm actually going to go for custom. and if you'd like um the because you want like and what you can do is that because this is one shape right you can do c tier l c you can go to the next slide and c tier l v so you can use this character on every page if you'd like so um Um, that's what you can do. And if you want the character to be saying something, you can go to the Kalut thing. 
and pick out this um, oval or squarish. I like the oval one, the more decent way, I think. I'm going to go to text color, and I'm actually going to make this one white. And I'm going to make its fill color transparent. Oopsies, I spelled C-T-R-L-C. Oh. oh yeah, you gotta make it bigger sometimes or else Funny, this one I'm about to do. like this font you can go to the one that you're using right now and one that i love is any user telescope i have lots and lots of them i think coin is the one i need today make a bold no bold is not and you know i feel like i don't like this white so I'm actually going to make it, let's see, there's so many tools. I'm going to go to custom, actually, because there are more choices in custom. Red. It's very, very, very deep red. And I hope you understood my meaning. Oh, like, they're not made as seedlings. Because, you know, um, this, this, um watermelon thought that it was made as a seedling right and now what it thinks is that watermelons are all made on google slides so this is what we need mm -hmm. and um please be sure to share your um own uh your own thing that you make on let me just give you my gmail Whenever you want to share um, your creations with me and you want me to post it on a YouTube channel, I would be more than happy to. So I'm just going to give you a thing that you can share it on. So, yeah, I'm going to go to text box. Let's make this one like. No, I'm just going to make it. Let's do 90, right? Most small. It's not going to be big enough. I'm just going to make this a bit more bigger. Yes, true. It's coming out of the page, but anyways. Most small. Me. Sure. 11 at G hmm. I'm just gonna make this font smaller So that it can actually fit inside that page. Gmail dot com. And just need to make it even more small. 
And what I'm gonna do is that say I don't like this font, go to fonts, and I'm gonna go for my favorite. Annie, use your telescope. Mm, bold. There's no capital, so yeah, my favorite color. And yes, this is um this is um if you want. Oh, what has happened? Oh, yeah, because it's actually like, um, you know, it's funny. I should love it at gmail.com is, um, up, um, what do you call it? Um, is a, uh, account. You're kind of like, I don't want it to be blue. And I'll just kind of make it a different color for you. Mm, let's make this even deeper. Right? So, it's osmaniaisha11 at gmail.com. Anyways, if you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll just give you a nice view of what we made here. This is what we made. We make. Um, so, if you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. I'm kind of falling behind. Bye.